Hey guys, today I'm going to be releasing two small midairs that are very useful, um, but also very small. So this one right here does one by one and shoots much farther than this. Um, I can't remember exactly how far this shoots. I think it's like five blocks or something. This shoots like, maybe not, this shoots like a hundred something, maybe a little more. This one right here is for very, this is like a poor person's midair. You can put this in and set it up really quickly. I use another rack because it's cheap. Um, you can just skim it in to water, just place like a source right here, or just in the middle of it. As long as this, this row right here is watered, um, you can shoot more than one TNT with this if you put a redstone here and a dispenser here. But it will not be able to dip as far because this has to wait longer to fall. So you'll have to remove some time from this. This right here is set up because TNT jumps 0.2 blocks. Our trapdoor is 1.875, so when this spawns in, you'll see that it'll jump up onto the trapdoor pretty quickly. And it takes almost no time for it to fall, so you can delay this. You could delay this even more if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it how it is. There are a few critical points on this. Um, I, I left the glass. I'm doing this glass so that you can see if there's going to be any obstructions. And just kind of help people understand. This right here is a point where it'll be able to go over a cap. This represents 256, standing on 256. So standing on those, you should be on 255. This will continue along here over the cap. And then dip down right here. Um, this is second critical points. It'll go over this block, but it won't go over this block. So it'll clip between these two blocks. If you have any blocks obstructing here or here, it'll just slide along the cap and be useless. So then this will fall down here, um, and it would actually be aligned to this side. It clips here. So it'll go down over, clip on this, and then fall down, and this is the maximum distance this will be able to fall. But you could push this a little farther if you added some more times, so I just haven't done that. But if we remove that block, what you'll see is this is for shooting like under a cap and then going forward again. Um, it'll make it over this block, and it'll keep going, and then this is a point where it can continue under the cap. So I've marked these because these are some useful points in the schematic. Um, and on the release, I'll be moving all these things over to perfectly align with the barrel, so it's easy to line up. But I just have them next to it for now, so I can do these demonstrations. Okay, this next one is basically does the same thing, but this one one by once, and goes much farther. And again, you can add more TNT by doing the same thing in removing timings. Also, these are not the maximum timings for this, but it becomes an inconvenience to time it past that. So if you really need to, you can play with it yourself. Um, you should be able to play with it on a live server, as long as you just don't have this going off after that, or <laughs> after this explodes. So this will come up here. This is the point where it goes over the cap again. But on this one, this one's different. There's, there's two points on this. So this first one right here, represents like maximum distance, you don't care about one by ones. This would be 256, this is 255, the highest you can build in cosmic with normal blocks. So, um, and this represents 256 for if you are mid-airing, or not mid what am I saying? For if you're one by one -ing. So if you want a one by one, um, what I do is I would just take some random blocks and just like build them up till you can't anymore on your schematic and say then once you can't place above this, um, you want this obsidian block right above there, if you want a one by one. Then, these are the cap linings for, um, this one's for far shooting, it's just going as far as you can over a cap. This one's for one by one -ing. Uses the same uh, markings on it. So this right now is set up for, what am I saying? This right here is, uh, yeah, so I pre-placed these blocks to demonstrate the one by one. So this is the one by one, it doesn't go as far, obviously. So this will fall down to, it blew up the glass, but it'll go down to here. This is the farthest you can go down with it. And if I remove these blocks, you'll see it'll, it'll dip down and then it'll continue over to here. And this is a far point where if you want to dip down by two blocks or go through the cap. Okay, so I'll find it again, and this time it represents the longer shooting. So we're going to ignore the higher cap up there, and we're going to be focusing on this one, if you're lining it up like this. 
So as you'll see, we'll go over, and then everything above here is irrelevant because that's above 256. Once we get to here, this is the point where it can. Uh, this is the last piece of cap it can travel down. Anything past here is going to clip on um, from here over to here. And if you want, you can continue going underneath your cap. These are the. This is a range for if you want to shoot in a hole. It's open, and then keep going underneath your cap. Um, and then for if you want to dip it down. If there's a block here, this will this will also dip down. It'll drop down like you saw in one lower. On the actual scum this button won't be here. This is just because there's a, a bug on the server with buttons facing the dispensers. Um, so it'll look like this on Cosmic. And as you can see, it's it's literally nothing. This is uh what is this? Six times four, twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight dispensers for a step over, and then a little bit of another rack and repeaters and Redstone, that's the whole cannon and trap doors and stuff. But this one is a total of 34 um, dispensers. And I use stone because stone looks better, but you're not going to need to build this out of obby. And I also cleaned these up a little bit to try and keep them compact. And on the actual skim, I'll also be having the button up here on these dispensers um, instead of down here. That's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. I've been getting a lot of questions about midairs, so these are the first two I'm releasing. I've not used these in videos yet, but they're very, very handy to keep in your schematics folder. Um, so you don't have to build anything that's bigger. In fact, if I had thought about it, I probably would have used this one instead of the L stacker in my other video, but um, I didn't. This actually didn't one by one before, so I got on and finally decided to make it one by one, because when I made it, I didn't need it to. Um, and all I really had to do is just add a dispenser and then find a one by one. So next cannon release, which I'm going to record today most likely, will be with this cannon, um, which I've actually used in a video. And it's also an optimized version of that cannon. So I'll be going over the changes that I made to it and show you how to use it. And this has a lot more capabilities than some of these. And you can use this to get a decent amount lower in the base. Um, and then after that, I'll be releasing this one, which I used two videos ago. Um, which can actually make it all the way down to bedrock, I believe. And this has a lot of capabilities, including um, double tapping roofs. Yeah, this is also an extremely useful tool for, for getting to bases. And a lot of the times on bases that are worth a few hundred mil, you may need something like this. Um, and most likely these kinds of things won't work. So I hope you found this useful. And uh, I should be back shortly with another candidate release.